The name Governor's Island comes... Accompanied by the President of the Republic of France and Madame Mitterrand. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please remain standing for the presentation of the colors of the Republic of France and the United States of America. Thank you and good morning, President Reagan, President Mitterrand, Director General of Post, Michel Roulet, and distinguished guests from around the world. I'm truly honored to join with you and our French friends today as our countries issue postage stamps commemorating that Lady Liberty's centennial birthday. Today, these stamps are available only in the New York metropolitan area, but tomorrow they'll go on sale in post offices throughout the country. Then all Americans will be able to see and collect these miniature masterpieces which so aptly commemorate the world's most enduring symbol of freedom, hope, and opportunity, the Statue of Liberty. Hers is a legacy. We shall cherish it not only today, on this historic day, but for many, many years to come. Thank you very much. And now in company with Mr. Roulet, we shall present President Reagan and Mitterrand with souvenir stamp album. Thank you. It is my pleasure to present a great entertainer and a great American. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Andy Whitney. His truth is marching on in the beauty of the lilies. Christ was born across the sea with a glory bosom that friend Ladies and gentlemen, the man who accepted the challenge and made today possible, the chairman of the Statue of Liberty Ellis Island Foundation, Mr. Lee Iacocca. President Reagan, Mrs. Reagan, President Mitterrand, Madame Mitterrand, Good morning. Wow, what a glorious 4th of July. You know, one thing America knows how to do, they throw a party. 
And our friends are here. Our friends are here from all over the world, all dressed up and ready to parade their colors in honor of Lady Liberty. We American tons. Thank you, Lee, and thank you all. It's been said that we Amer Americans count our blessings too seldom, but not this weekend. We, this weekend, we celebrate, my friends, we cut loose. The procession that we're about to witness will be as colorful as fireworks, as majestic as Lady Liberty herself. I hear you. It'll speak to us of the past, of the days when great ships like these dropped anchor in our harbors to unload tea from China, whale oil from open seas, and yes, immigrants from around the world. It'll speak to us of present and future amity between our nation and the many nations that have sent ships here today to lend their beauty, the curve of their hulls, the lines of their masts, and rigging as they stand out against the sea, the sky, to our rejoicing. Passing in review today, we see more than 20 of the 30 or so tall ships that are left in the world. The U.S. Coast Guard Bark Eagle will lead the procession. Schooners, barks, brigantines, and catches from more than 30 countries are entering the harbor. Somehow men have always found moving the sight of these vessels of moon, wood, and metal, and canvas. Indeed, some centuries ago, one writer of Proverbs described as wonderful the way of a ship in the midst of the sea. Perhaps it has something to do with the knowledge that nothing binds sailing ships, nothing holds them back, that they can travel anywhere across the vast and trackless sea. Perhaps indeed these vessels embody our conception of liberty itself, to have before one no impediments, only open spaces, to chart one's own course, to take the adventure of life as it comes, to be free as the wind, as free as the tall ships themselves. It's fitting then that this procession should take place in honor of Lady Liberty. And as the wind swells the sails, so too may our hearts swell with pride at all that Liberty's sons and daughters have accomplished in this, the land of the free. This spectacle has been literally years in the planning. On behalf of the American people, I want to thank Ambassador Buss Mossbacker and his entire Operation Sales staff for making this international celebration, this stately salute to liberty. And now, Bus, where are you? Come forward. Thank you. President Mitterrand, Madam Mitterrand, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, so much has been said that there's very little I can add, except perhaps to thank the President, because without his very warm and enthusiastic support from day one, and day one was about three years ago, the group, this dedicated group who presented Opsail in 1964 and in 1976, each time vowing never to do it again, decided that the centennial of the Statue of Liberty and a salute to liberty was very much in order. But no matter how hard they work and how expert they are, and they are, it could not have been done without the President. So as a small token, Mr. President, from our board of directors and all of the volunteers, and they are all volunteers, may we present to you, sir, this token of our thanks and esteem. Thank you very much. Thank you. And now, sir, with your permission, may we present your eagle and Elizabeth Dole's eagle and Opsail 86. I, I can carry that back. I can carry that back.
Ladies and gentlemen, we invite you now to enjoy the tall ships from around the world, paying tribute to the Statue of Liberty on this 210th anniversary of independence. was claimed by the Allies as a prize of the war. Since then, she has been the training ship of the United States Coast Guard Academy, and she celebrates her 50th anniversary this year. for the Danish Merchant Marine, but was in Florida when Denmark was invaded by Germany in 1940 and served as a training ship with the U.S. Coast Guard. She sailed in Opsail 64 and once again in Opsail 76. Danish schooner and the Ernestina 
a United States slipper bound schooner, noted for its annual Arctic voyages, and as a packet vessel between the Cape Verde Islands and New England. vessel, the Christian Rodder, sails under the flag of Norway. She was sunk during the war and completely rebuilt. Her first Atlantic crossing was to visit the 1938 World's Fair in New York. She also starred in the movie Windjammer and participated in previous off sails. Her captain, who commands the ship today, was married aboard the Christian Roddick in New York in 1976 after the July 4th Bicentennial Parade. Transatlantic speed record in 1966 and carries on the tradition of the Argentinian Naval Academy. She was also a participant in previous hot sales.
by their national flag. ships the Rara Avis, sails from La Havre with sail training crews, and her sister ship, the Bella Squad II, the Baltic Trader, celebrated for her work as a training vessel for delinquent youth. Thank you. 